was from Gold Coast and we travelled to Tweed Heads. And from Tweed Heads we've now travelled to Coffs Harbour. Okay, day one, we've, we've managed to get underway by one o'clock. We travelled, I don't know, 30 nautical miles, Pat's side. Mate, I'm, I'm fine. Didn't spew. I had... Uh... Didn't spew. We've, we've had plenty of bourbon though. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Oh, yeah. That's how much is left. Yeah, I was, not too much. I only had half a bottle. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, we're in Tweet... Tweet... Uh, Tweet... River. Tweet... Tweet... Tweet River. Ends. We're in Tweet River. Oh! And Dave, our cook. Yep, I'm just resident cook. I'm just eating. I'm just mopping up the. I'm just mopping up the rest. Red Nuzzy Doreen and fried rice and stuff. And fried beetle. Yeah, fried beetle juice. Fried beetle beetle juice. That was delicious. Anyway, this is where we're at. Now, being a trimaran, it is quite tight in some areas. And here, Steve demonstrates how to get into the front berth. It is private, that is a good thing, but it is quite an effort to get in. We also do some spearing just out at the heads there. There's plenty of dolphins around scaring the fish off there, but we did have a great time getting in the water. As we left the heads, we also were greeted by some lovely wild dolphins. They seemed to enjoy the three holes and uh, they gave it quite a show. So, not only did I steal our catch while we're spearfishing, they also uh, entertain us in other times. Not long after this one, we got visited by another friend. Here we show you bit of a view outside of the boat. Both got the front jib and the main fully stretched out. And light winds at this point in time, but uh, unfortunately the forecast was wrong and later on things changed <laughs> for the worse. We ended up having to reef twice, which was all a good exercise for us uh, as we've never done it before being complete amateurs. Here we have Dave being very keen to get the uh, spinnaker out. We might have had an arse about, but in the end we did manage to bolt it on and uh, get a bit of wind action. But I um, think in later times we might change the design as to how it actually gets attached to the front. Uh, having a bow spit obviously helps, but without one it's a little bit limited. Right. Boys, 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 boys,
Also showing a bit more of views of the boat, and uh, here it was a little bit green, and just thought I'd have a lie down. But that's about as bad as I got. At about this point in time where I managed to get into this East Australian current and it looked like we picked up about two knots uh, on a downwind and uh, yeah, it, was, it was a nice easy sailing still but uh, later on as I said things changed. Smashed by northerlies. Um, yeah, everyone's looking really healthy. Going, going for a bit of shelter. Loving love, love it. Loving it. We're heading for Coffs Harbour. Um, we left this morning, I know, 7 o'clock under the sail. It's just got progressively worse and worse. So we decided to find a good anchorage. So we're heading for Coffs. And food. food. Yeah, it's getting worse tomorrow. You beauty! We arrived in Coffs on a beautiful sunrise, and this is the harbour now. As you can see, it has been repaired since last year's storms. And uh, at this point in time, we're around 35 to 40 knots. Uh, just inside the harbour, so yeah, it was great to get in and get a bit of shelter. Coming up next, we we'll try and get into our love of diving again, and uh, hopefully we can show you some of the sights of the local area, and also get further down the coast and hopefully make it back to Melbourne. <laughs> 